In this video I'm going to show you how to organize your plugins and create custom folders in Plugin Manager. If we go to Inspector and look at the Audio Units menu, you can see that names of folders are different and you see less groups. I have decided to remove or relocate some plugins that I often use in my workflow. Now let me show you how you can do that in your logic. First you'll need to open Plugin Manager. You can find it in Preferences. You can organize and manage plugins within this manager window. Top row will show you all audio units installed on your computer. You can use search engine or scroll to find what you're looking for. Below you see top layout that shows you a list of instruments and MIDI effects that are immediately available when you open menu. Audio effects can also be added to that list, but I recommend you avoid that, otherwise you'll end up with a huge list. Now let's see how you can add instruments to this view. I have already relocated most plugins, so let's find Alchemy and Manufacturer group and drag it to the top level to see how that works. Plugin Manager allows you to give plugins custom names. I prefer using numbers before the name, so the most relevant plugins show up on top in order. Next you can give it a short name that will be displayed in instrument or audio slot. Now let's close this window and go to Inspector to see how that looks. You can see the alchemy at the top with the custom name I have assigned to it, and after I insert it, the slot shows the short name I have given to it. Now why would I do that? Well, the more plugins you install, the more time it takes to find the ones you need, and I find myself going back to the same few instruments or MIDI effects, and not using dozens of others, so I don't see why I need to keep them all listed and take extra space. Besides, minimal look is easier on your eye, and can speed up your workflow. Now let's go back to the manager and do the opposite. I will remove the alchemy from the top view, and if we go to the instrument menu you see that it's gone. You should know that you removed the name from the subgroup list, not the actual instrument. You can find all unlisted at the top level of tools down below under manufacturer name. In this case it's logic where you can see default collection of instruments and effects. Next let's talk about audio effects and folders. You can see that I have already rearranged all the plugins the way I like and removed a few that I don't use. Let's see how it's done. We go back to the plugin manager where you can find category window. Let's add a new folder and name it. Next I can go and find any plugin I want to include and simply drag it straight to the newly created folder. Here you can rename it or give it a short name if needed and make sure it's in use otherwise you won't be able to see it. Now it's done we can close the manager and look at the audio effects menu. Here you can see effects folder and the pitch plugin as expected. I suggest you give yourself some time and observe what tools you actually use a lot and later start organizing your own lists. And don't be afraid to remove plugins from the list, you can always go back and restore default settings.